Hey, Sarah, could you please hold while I merge your call back in? Thank you so much. Yes, I can. Would you mind holding really quickly? Because I'm going to loop in Frankie. She's ready to be looped. Hello. Hi, merging you into the call. Please hold. Hi, Frankie. So we've got Tristan, Sarah, and yourself, myself, and Sally Dar here on speaker. So Tristan, how about you go ahead and start the call? Yeah. Hey, guys. Thanks for jumping on today. Um, I really appreciate everyone taking the time out of their day, first and foremost. I know we've all got things going on, but I really do appreciate y'all. I wanted to go ahead and let y'all know, Groupon has reached out to me, and they want me to do a fun experience with my friends, and we've got a pretty tight timeline, I'm not going to lie, okay? I've got to record it in the next few days, because I've got to get edits, bring it back to the team, and everything like that. What they went ahead and approved was a Vegas experience, a Las Vegas experience. As y'all know, we're about an hour flight from Las Vegas, Nevada, 12 hours together in Las Vegas. This is going to be uh, tomorrow, November 4th. You know, it might be a quick turnaround for some of you, but I think, you know, given all the obstacles we've gone through this year, I kind of want to do something special for y'all. Mm -hmm. Well, Tristan, thank you so much for kind of setting up the call, and I'm going to go ahead and just popcorn and <laughs> popcorn myself in with some travel details. I know that some of us are working tomorrow, kind of that nine to five job. There is going to be a 540 flight on Delta Airlines that's around $90 USD. That's going to be taking us into Vegas around 7 p.m., and then they've got a nice return flight in the morning around 9 a.m. so that we can all get back to LA for our particular activities and whatnot. And I hate to be the one to say this, Sarah's saying that she more so did not receive the merge for the call. She did not receive the merge? Okay. <laughs> Watson, can I ask a question? Yeah, go for it. Um, I will just say I have a, uh, a hard stop in about three hours, so just make it, you know, kind of... From what I'm understanding, we would be staying at the Luxor on the strip, is that correct? Yes, that's going to be correct. Mm -hmm. I just want to inform everybody, there is a bit of, like, a haunting situation at the Luxor, but I just could not be more excited. Can you go that. ahead and maybe explain the haunting, if you wouldn't mind, Sarah? I can send over video reference after our call. Okay. Um, um, but other than that... Apparently it's a great stay. That's sounding like some obstacles that we can really push past because I know that we are a very like driven, motivated group. Allow me, if y'all don't mind me piggybacking in here. Mm -hmm. uh, Go ahead, Tristan. Shoot, and if y'all just excuse me, I'm on the center. <laughs> oh, that's okay. You know, we know how these uh, work from home meetings go. <laughs> this new normal is so crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, Am I getting a verbal confirmation of yes from Sarah on this journey? I would love to attend. Thank you so much for asking. Perfect. Okay, can I go ahead and get a verbal confirmation that everyone's going to be willing and able to participate in the brand deal for Tristan Watson LLC? Yes, for I'm Megan sure. Gooder, Cooter LLC, verbal yes. Thank you so much. Sally Dar. That's going to be a yes, a verbal yes from Sally Dar LLC. Thank you so much. We are merging everyone in for an emergency group FaceTime. Brooke is saying she has availability after 11 a.m. tomorrow. This is a 911. Woo! Joined. Let me. Damn. Things are getting serious. Welcome to the vlog. It is Friday at 12.27 p.m. and we decided less than 24 hours ago that we were going to go to Vegas this weekend. The reason why it's happening is because Tristan has a brand deal with Groupon and he was listing the different experiences that he would prefer to do for the brand deal. The thing he ranked number one was a comped hotel room in Vegas and he didn't think that they were gonna pick that but then they ended up saying, yeah, you could do that. He was trying to figure out what weekend we wanted to go and Megan was like, well, why don't we just go tomorrow? And then everyone was like, Okay, I'm picking up Brooke and Sarah and we're driving there. Megan and Tristan are flying there. We're all gonna be in one hotel room. There's probably not gonna be much sleeping and then we're gonna turn around and leave in the morning. So this is gonna be a very interesting like 12 hours in Vegas. Hey, good morning guys. How are you? Having a little breakfast. Tristan is on his way here. I've kind of prepped my mind, body, and spirit. Last night I did one of those complete showers if you know what I mean, girls. I've got my open wound covered with a pimple patch. This morning I woke up, did some work, sent some emails, and I'm actually taking this flight on my lunch break. Our flight time's gonna be 45 minutes. You could do this yeah. every day of the week. I, I could, but I wouldn't. So what's happening is the morning of Vegas, we did decide yesterday to go. I've got Waking Up in Vegas by the Katy Perry going on. Megan and I are headed to the airport. Done the drive to Vegas before, cannot do it. What time are y'all leaving? Hopefully like 12.30. It's after Brooks therapy. Therapy's important before then. Yeah. Okay. okay. need it after two. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, by the way. Bye. Fan back to 
together. I had pitched the idea to Sally and our to road trip because over a year ago now, we road trip together across the country. So I pitched her the idea of getting the band back together and putting on our road trip playlist. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're gonna and do. And maybe creating a new one. And this is really exciting because we have driven through this kind of California Vegas area before, but we haven't driven on this side of the road. Oh, that is a really good point. So though. you don't know what we're gonna see on this side of the road that we might have missed when we were on the other side yeah. of the road last time. Yeah, just so that's what I'm looking forward to, seeing what the side of the road has to offer. I didn't bring tampons. I have one. Woo! Yes! Vegas! What, what are you most looking up? forward to in Vegas, Sarah? Turning the fuck up. What do you mean? <laughs> are you gonna take shots? Hell yeah. No. No. I would actually never do that. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Tristan. I'm getting some cam from the Delta Sky Lounge. Wanted to give y'all a tour. They have showers in here, so I'm thinking about showering because my flight just got delayed. And over here we have a little outdoor area. You're welcome. So I'll give y'all a full tour. You can watch the planes and such. Okay, I just got off the plane and I know I need to live here. because We have casinos or slot machines and then chilies. What more could you ask for? We're at the MX Lounge to have a little cocktail, but Megan had to come over on a tram, so a little bit delayed. Already moved on to chapter two. Megan. You think I know? Exhausted. 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 Exhausted.
<laughs> That's not gonna work. Okay. It's not gonna work. Encouraging you to go to the hospital. <laughs> I'm so sick. Yeah. We had chicken and like. Yeah. But it's not an excuse. You have an M95. I have to go put a tampon in in the no, bathroom. I've just got one of those surgical. Uh, okay. It might be happening again. No. Oh my God, Tristan, stop! Seriously, you are scaring the shit out of me. Thank you, Megan. And we move forward and advising you to go to the hospital immediately. We've called the paramedics. <laughs> I bet there are paramedics on site. <laughs> the paramedics had to get to this fucking room. Yeah, yeah. They wouldn't make it. It takes so long to get up here. A good prank would be if we got the paramedics to roll a stretcher up here. Okay, I'm going to put a tampon in. You should just do that out here. <laughs> Hopefully I'll see you guys on the other side, okay? Mm, I don't know. It's like thick air. Oh my God. No! <laughs> There's no way it's that bad. No, Tristan. Tristan. <laughs> God, sorry I'm on an all kale diet and my poop smells a little bit bad. All kale? All kale? Yeah. You just said you, you said chicken. Yeah, you just ate chicken. Grilled chicken. <laughs> oh, oh, so God. stupid. I could have my Gucci on. Gucci. This is my coat piece. Um, I got this thrifting the other day. Chinatown in New York City. I, I thought you were rich this whole time. Really? Yeah. Thank you, I am, but I just have to have some pieces that are, yeah. you know, not. Boots are Steve Madden, mm -hmm. I think. No, they're Alta. Aldo? I'll do. Jeans, Lululemon, hate them, they're too big, but they're good quality. Kenneth Cole, do not like this little logo down here, but it's a nice fitting blouse. And then when I put this on, it's fine. Oh, scarf thrifting. Jewelry regular. So what we're kind of looking at are some jeans from Madewell, some booties from ASO. This top is from Cider, and this hair piece is from Anthropology. When you first got that on, I thought it was an extension, and I was like, it's not gonna match your hair, babe. No, it's kind of more so just like a, <laughs> a, like a long piece. bow, yeah. My purse what? is from Tory Burke. Cute, vintage, mm -hmm. love it. Wow, very 2014 of you. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's so cool, very nice. So style. fucking ugly, oh my god. Wow, those are beautiful, Miss Sarah. Thank you, my mom just got poop for me. Thank is your set no. aloe? Yeah, my set's aloe. Are your nipple pieces out? Brooke's corset That's is also awesome. from Cider. From Cider, let me put my shoes on. Okay. So I look a little bit taller and more elevated. Babe okay. is from my favorite gas station store in West Hollywood. Fruit oh, yeah. is from the side of the road. <laughs> Fruit will keep, it's not a problem. Fruit will keep. There is not a fridge here, the fruit will keep it overnight. It will stay fresh. Little life hack form the table for you. <laughs> Ow! Inhaler by my doctor. <laughs> don't smoke, kids, or do, but don't say you did it because of me. <laughs> I have to stop. I mean, it's an addiction. Sushi's gonna upset my stomach, huh? Damn, I'm gonna be tuned in the clubs. <laughs> we are switching to iPhone camera until further notice. So, the thing about this hotel is haunted. So there is, I don't even know if it's actually a sphinx, but there's... Wait, oh, we're under, 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 we're under a sphinx. So there's supposed to have two of them. They only have one, so it's like immediate first. And then at the top of the pyramid, they're supposed to have like an eye. Don't have that. People were making this, they were like dying left and right. The way that the balcony works on the inside is that like balconies are like in the middle and they're looking the inside. Uh -huh. People fall to their death all the time. So that's great. Yes. I mean, I can hear from here, Sarah. So there's two separate supernatural things going on. In suite. 6.13, there's gonna go ahead and be a poltergeist. 8.30 a.m. every single morning, clock. It's going off and it's a sound that is incredibly uncomfortable for your ears, not even a pillow over your head. We'll muffle that sound. Then there's also gonna be an incubus, a blonde woman, dreaming about a blonde woman choking you. And then she'll actually choke you awake. So that's actually the incubus herself, kind of infiltrating your dream. And used to say what happens when you dream about a brunette woman. It's fucking haunted here. Can't wait. And we wanted to stay here because why the fuck would we want that experience? I am in love with the Venetian. Yes, it's it's gorgeous. You need to get to the part where the gondola is. Aren't you in Italy right now? Yeah, this is so crazy. Now you can understand how you could be in here at 4 a.m. and you would feel like it was like day. That's what I'm saying, that's why they don't put clocks in here. So this is the reservation I made. Took me about three hours to find this reservation. Is that making any sense? The bar is backed up. He said, food comes out at the order. <laughs>
really booked a show, but I hope I just see some like showgirls walking around. Is there a club here? I would go to a club in Vegas, I would. Sally Dorrance told me, but she never wanted to go to a club. I don't like, if I'm going to go to a club, it's going to be in Vegas. I don't like clubs anywhere else. But you wouldn't come with me to go to a club. What I said is that Vegas would be more fun in a group. Is that a bad statement? It's not false. But you just didn't want to come with me. I will come with you. Not next week, because you're going to come here with Jordan. Come with you the week after that, and then go see a magic show. Does that work for you? Yes, because that's my birthday. Wait, you want to go see a magic show yes. here? Cheers. Cheers. Woo! Yes, cheers to Tristan's promotion. Listen, we're young, we are hot. So many girls would kill to be here with us. I, like, would kill here to be with y'all. Brooke is mad at me from the canal situation, but that's what the fuck of it all is. Is a girl's trip. We're gonna fight, but then we're gonna play even harder. And then we're gonna eat that yeah. <laughs> So I was able to afford this Prada bag. Sat down, she goes, are you guys celebrating anything? All it was for you, promotion. Promotion, do not have a promotion, by the do, way. Nope, not in the slightest. Got several things comp. As we should, yes. as we deserve. Been the truth, I'm here for a brand deal, been, so. Been the truth. Basically. Wow, it really looks like noon. It's really dark. <laughs> oh my God. We have a man. <laughs> wow, on the rainy streets of Venice. Is that kind of romantic? <laughs> <laughs> That's so you. me, so me. Keep peace, keep peace. Keep peace, keep peace. Yes. <laughs> what is that? No, out of shape, but bitch, I'm trying. <laughs> is that like the damn truth? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Who are you talking to, Megan? It's like crazy. Like I would do not know where I like. I would not be able to get the back to the hotel. At the Venetian, they're doing fine. Okay. Chug this. Okay. Because I'm not nearly Three, enough Three, two, to one. Wait, where are we getting the cap? Good job, Tristan. Thank you. Good job. Hi, how are you? Dragon, 150. 150. It's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> and Tristan's going to come. We're okay. We're just going to. Wait, fine. how long can we ride around in it, though? Because that could be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put your keepies on. Keep yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to make the other hot trick jealous. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Yes, good. Oh. We are looking and eligible for a key piece. <laughs> yeah, We're gonna move forward with uh, the minivan, but y'all got that one. Love your key piece. Yeah. I love your key piece. I love your scarf. You look so gorgeous. If we meet and one like, more person, that is fucking insane. Oh. Welcome to our newest key piece. Hi, Caesar. How the hell are you? I'm looking for the key piece. Hi, you guys, and welcome to the key piece room. So I just got the key piece um, <laughs> seltzer. I, it's pretty fucking good. The library of walk. Keepies, keepies, <laughs> shuffle, shuffle with me. Okay, Follow me. I need to be honest. I just talked to mommy and daddy. Mommy and didn't have a goddamn clue. Daddy was getting stuff. hot at the body shop. And you think I don't Wait. know that? Okay, and the like frustrating part is you know Sally Darnie. Tristan, shut the fuck up. You didn't tell us. Tristan dared us to ask someone where the key piece room was. Wait, so me and Sarah going? flagged down a man and we talked to him for 30 fucking minutes. Insert the photo of the MIT key piece It's Brian. going really well. I told uh, this young couple about the key piece suite. They went along with the bit. That is what we're looking for. Well, Brian legitimately thought we were looking for a club inside Caesars called Key Piece. He was like, I don't know where that is, but we on we go. Help. I want to go. Need help. By the way, I'm feeling tipsy. Say Key Piece on three. One, two, three. Key Piece. Aww. Thank you. You are gorgeous, by the way. You don't know where the key piece room is? <laughs> Hell no. You don't. Oh. Kind of not a speakeasy, but more of like a. Key piece. No, the one in the Cosmopolitan. The hair piece. Find that piece to go into the key piece room. It's kind of like a spa. Oh, no, of course. Did you look at that on TikTok? No. Oh, thank God. Oh, we don't have yeah. TikTok. We're we kind have... of off the grid. Wait, we made I... a social media it. back to the beginning uh, of the can episode. I... Oh, we we okay. deleted the fuck out of that. Yeah. I'm on TikTok. Oh, you <laughs> are? <laughs> <laughs> ew, 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 ew. Uh, <laughs> 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 
There's no money left. Get together! Get together! Yeah. We really gotta get together for a photo. You gotta get together for a photo. Key piece on three. One, two, three. Key piece! Oh, oh. No! Okay, then we'll go back out. Yes. Damn! That's what I'm saying to talk about Ben Tina. Oh, how are you? Key piece! Key piece! Key piece! Okay. Like a <laughs> Is the Taco Bell cantina a fucking club? I could wear my Louis Vuitton, but even with nothing on, bet I made you look. <laughs> this is my choir. We came for our concert tour. Sarah Bug, Alto. We're performing Mega at Bug. She goes in between Mezzo Soprano and Mezzo Soprano. <laughs> and then Brooke, Alto. Alto, Alto. 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 And then me, and for me, Jenner. <laughs> and Sally Darbuck, <laughs> you're gonna be. Oh, you'll look different in person. <laughs> in person? You're thinner, We're on camera. camera. <laughs> That's like when Sally Dar told me that I was bigger in person. <laughs> <laughs> not, I said taller. She was, oh my god, you're bigger than that I was. That is not, no. Sorry, y'all. Drama <laughs> channel. I haven't seen her in years, and I said, oh, you're taller than I remember. She was. Didn't know she was 5'10. Sorry. Gonna be tenor slash soprano and tenor slash alto. Soprano yeah. Slash alto. yeah, she's got a range. But I'm gonna get an, an Italian BMW. And I'm not. And I'm not. And get provolone added on to that. I'm not. Oh. It's a chicken salad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Megan got her sandwich comps by her new tea piece. Megan wanted to walk Mount Everest and go I up there. Yes, you, you did. did. <laughs> wow, must be really fucking nice. That yeah, must be nice to have a working staircase. Oh my god. Mount goddamn Everest to get up to the sky. Oh. I hope you all enjoy the electronic staircase. It's a chicken salad. It's a chicken salad. Gorgeous, gorgeous view from up here. Is this the strip? Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's, a, it's a chicken salad. <laughs> Oh yes. 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 Yo. Yo. Fuck. Yo. Oh, the Cosmopolitan. This is so Harry Potter. Yeah, but then it turns into like burlesque ass dancers. Wow. It's crazy. You're such a Las Vegas historian. Okay, here's the thing is, I love the history of Las Vegas and I will continue to study it until the day that I die. Very good. Very good, guys. Very good. I just want to let you guys know that you are so brave for kind of wearing the shoes that you selected this evening. Are you asking for a late checkout? Yes. Brooks, do you want any of your fruit? I think it capped. Mm. Press speaker and then press front desk, and I'll do my talking. Uh. Uh. Wait, what's the. Gupta. Gupta. The queen is coming. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. queen is coming. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The queen is coming. Looks amazing. Hi, I was calling to see if we could get a late checkout for tomorrow morning. So sorry, ma'am, we're not doing any late checkout. Okay, so what time is checkout? 11. 11, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> it was the water, it was too much. 11, perfect. Wait, hold on, that time was perfect. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. Wait, hold on. That's actually perfect. Good morning. Nothing. Just good morning, Vegas. Or are you going to throw your fruit out out here? You're going to uh, leave it behind. Someone will eat that. That's somebody else's um, snack. Someone will eat that. The fruit. Like, it didn't keep. That's didn't the keep. welcome gift it for the next keep. person. And what was your favorite part of our 12 hour vacation? I mean, Darren really was a highlight. I genuinely think my favorite part was Sarah teaching us about the windows because wow. that's making like everything like make so much sense. Like the first time I came to Vegas, I tried to walk from Encore Beach Club to Caesar's Palace. Ended up kind of just drunk wandering on the strip. It's yeah. so much more clear now. Wow. I thought that her favorite part would be her sunglasses. Yeah, that's what she was gonna say too. Oh well, <laughs> these are just a part of me. What was your favorite part of Vegas for me? Blackjack with when? Darren slash Daryl <laughs> slash Damien. He's probably in prison. You don't think? No, no, he's a good guy. Sorry. Watching y'all play with Darren was really sweet. And talking to him was actually really nice. Probably just like the aspect of Vegas that like there's so many like just older men. So you're automatically just like the hottest in the room. 
if that makes sense. We also saw a lot of prostitutes. <gasps> yeah, yes. that was my That was crazy. Part. We had talking, no, 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 wait. Talking, talking to Bryant about prostitutes because he was like, I was like, how can you tell? And he was like, because I'm like an older single man. They like come up to me all the time. They're not gonna come up to you. So he's like, I've just been here so many times. But yeah, 46 times. He's like, I just know, because I've been but here so many times. But then when we were at the blackjack table, Sarah saw a woman that she thought was a, a woman of the night. We were like, is that, is that? And then Darren, <laughs> I mean, yes. Don't even need to say it out loud. That yes. So, because I just think the older men now. Crazy. Just, yeah, where was that? You were playing. Uh, I, was, yeah, you were, I was in the game. Yeah, you were in the game. Which also, we were talking about this when we were watching White Lotus. Because like the girls are just like dressed cute and like normal. We're like, yeah. how could you tell? That's what I was saying to Brian. I'm like, to me, they just look like a normal girl. You can tell. Well, I got a quarter pounder with cheese and fries and a Diet Coke. I got a quarter pounder with cheese, fries, and a regular Coke. I got a quarter pounder with cheese and surprise, four chicken nuggets oh. and some fries. I got a quarter pounder <laughs> with fries. And the side of seasickness. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It tastes like the best thing I've ever had. What's the difference between a quarter pounder and a hamburger? Kind of like two patties and a bun between it. No, that's a Big Mac. No. Oh. Why does or mine look like that? So you have a Big Mac. What? I got a Big Mac? That's what that is. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I guess I got a Big Mac. I'm having a great time. The Mac sauce. I understand why that woman was harassing that teenage <laughs> boy to get it. What is it? Probably like a mayonnaise base. I would love a mayonnaise base. Cream base. I know you love uh -huh. a cream base. You guys know that song that's like two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Yeah, yeah that's a big mac. Right. No that's wonder I love a big mac. Thank you so much for watching that uh, mess of a vlog. If it made no sense to you, please do not worry because it didn't make much sense to us either. Could not tell you what key piece means, but it doesn't really matter. You just kind of know it when you see it, right? Anyways, okay. Love you guys, bye.